Good morning, good morning, good morning. I welcome you this morning. Um, how was your Sunday? How was your Saturday? How is your family doing? Um, how are your children? Uh, how are you doing? Sometimes we forget that people go through things. Uh, there are people that are sick. There are people that are, you know, are facing trials around the world. Uh, you know, uh, we are brothers and sisters here on earth. And so uh, sometimes we are self-centered about us, about me and my children, me and my job, me and my company, me and my husband, me and my future. And uh, sometimes we forget that there are people around the world that do not even know the taste of salt. They do not even know the taste of sugar, right? Maybe they see it once in a blue moon. Uh, there are people that, they are really nice people and good people, but they cannot take their children to school um, because, you know, uh, goodness has not gone to them yet. Uh, so I think uh, this morning, on our daily grace, I welcome you uh, once again, uh, Rachel Gela Kisa. Um, this, this, this one thing I would like to ask you when you're praying to God, uh, please pray that you may touch someone's life. You may bless somebody. Please pray that you may, uh, do something for somebody around the world. Um, uh, and, and once the opportunity comes, I pray that you may tap into it and bless somebody around the world. Um, so let's start with prayer because we are starting a new week. Uh, we don't know what's ahead of us, but all we know is that the Lord God is with us. Uh, the helper, the guide, uh, the savior, the healer, the deliverer is with us. And I would like us to pray for other people. On our daily grace, let us pray for other people because someone is crying right now. Someone doesn't know what to do right now. And uh, let us pray that we may not be selfish, that we may think about other people that are suffering. We may think about other people that are struggling in life. And we may ask God for an opportunity to help, an opportunity to give, uh, because then you help somebody. Then you uplift someone's life. And even as we do that, God blesses us the more. Um, so in on our daily grace today, let us learn something that if you're not self-centered, God will see you through. If you think of whenever you wake up, you think about somebody, how you can help someone, how you can bless someone. The Lord said that if you care for the needy and the orphans, eternal life is yours. You belong to him. God wants people to help regardless of who they are. He wants us to give. He wants us to help. So uh, here on our daily grace, we're going to pray for other people this week, that God may provide for whatever they need, that God will heal them wherever they are in the name of his son, Jesus. Father God, this morning, we adore you, we praise you. You are the Lord of grace. You are the Lord of power. You are our father. Even here on the earth, you are our father. Father God, we thank you. For those people that are in hospital, Father God, we ask you to heal them, touch them, and deliver them. And Lord God, we pray today in the name of Jesus that if there's somebody struggling with finances, with money, with taking their children to school, with food, with shelter, that God, you may provide because we know that you supply all our needs according to your riches in glory. So dear God, we give you praise and we give you glory because we know that you love everybody. May goodness locate them. May goodness find them. May goodness speak to them. May their lives change. And may they accept you as Lord and Savior, just in case they had not accepted you as Lord and Savior. And Father God, we pray that you may bless us this week, that Father God will be rejoicing by the end of this week. In Jesus' gracious name I pray. And everybody say amen. So I welcome you to our daily grace every day with Rachel Gela Kisa. Bye. I love you.